day 14 of my self-deprivation, no sugar, no alcohol, no dairy. I grew up being a very sweet tooth. Seven years ago, I have decided to stop eating sugar. And it was not my first try. If you want, just leave me a comment. I can make a video about the whole story, whole journey, which was bumpy. Uh, it was not successful for a long time. I'm telling you this now for you to realize it wasn't always easy for me. And today I wanted to tell you about how to stay on track. Just a little inspiration while we will go and walk around Cincinnati. A couple of tips of how to stop that urge or cravings to have sugar. They will appear. With my own experience, I know that anything you start, uh, first two weeks seem very easy. And then the old voice comes back and says, Luba, well, it's okay, you know, two weeks, you have proven something. Well, let's start to do what we know the best. And that's when craving starts. And today I want to talk about cravings and how to spot the emotional eating and uh, what to do with it. Tips as a trainer who went from being addicted to sugar to now control my own cravings and control the amount of sugar I consume. And right now, I'm not consuming any sugar. Sometimes it's hard to realize, but we always have a choice. When we have a craving, we want sugar and consuming it. In between those two things, I want sugar and I'm eating it. There is a choice to do it or not to do it. And um, I had a client who would say, oh my gosh, Luba, you just don't understand because you don't have the sugar cravings like I do. In this case, we always do the same exercise. Imagine right now something that you want so badly. For example, I had a pretty emotional day yesterday. And at the end of it, I wanted a glass of wine and a chocolate. And I wanted it so badly. So I will imagine a glass of wine and this juicy, big chocolate cake, my favorite. You want it and you're eating it. You just like put your face in it and eat your way through that dessert. Now imagine the same situation. You have your favorite dessert and right next to you, there is an Idris Elba. Handsome Idris Elba just looking at you now. Will you eat this dessert or will you make a choice not to eat it? And if you still want to eat that delicious dessert, check. Are you thirsty or are you hungry? Because sugar is the easiest source of energy. And if you are hungry, you need to eat normal food and then do the test again. You drink water, you ate, you're still craving what you're craving. And you say to me, oh my gosh, Luba, it was Elba is right here, but I'm just eating my way through my favorite dessert. Then I'm asking you, is this a physical hunger or emotional hunger? And you're like, Luba, bingo. Of course, it's emotional hunger. Everybody knows about it. Well, what to do with emotional hunger? Rituals. We, as women, we don't understand how much we give to the world. But how do we replenish this energy? That's the question. Uh, some of us just prone to replenish it only with food. Well, maybe sleep. Almost home. And I want to continue this video with giving you rituals that you can do at home to replenish that energy. This will be an interesting vlog because I will be uh, giving you some advices at the end. But I'm telling you, this was a game changer for me when I realized that my emotional hunger is um, so big and I am not really paying attention to it. I was uh, trying to create this new habit. I will share with you rituals that will take you five to 30 minutes to do. Here we are in the comfort of my bedroom. When I was making this video, I felt 
bloated, I felt low energy. I decided to make this video from that stage to show you that, you know, it's not always fun. And this morning I woke up and I realized, oh my gosh, my, my period have started. So that explains a lot. Emotional hunger is a tricky beast. You can eat and after that do not feel satisfied. That's why we binge. That's when we binge. So instead of eating, find other self-care ideas. I will list all these ideas down below. Make sure to find time for yourself because if you won't find this time cautiously, you will never have time for yourself. Okay, five okay, minutes. So what will you do in this five minutes? Brush your hair, make yourself a warm drink, light a candle, listen to an upbeat song. The best of you will find that song, blast it and dance. Make yourself a giant glass of water, drink it in a spare of five minutes, grab the body lotion and give yourself a foot massage. Step outside for a moment and breathe fresh air for five minutes. Grab your phone and text somebody you love. Somebody who really will text you back that energy that you crave right now. Who is this person in your life? Think about it. Maybe write a comment. Maybe share it with me. I would love to know. Sit down, close your eyes and focus on breathing. These are rituals that will take you five minutes a day. You don't have to do all of them, but find the accessible one and do just one of them once a day. Then every other day, you will need to find 15 minutes for yourself. In these 15 minutes, you can make yourself a hot steam or cold shower, whatever you prefer. Put on the face mask, go for a walk, take a smoothie, give yourself a nice deep stretch. You can find that on my channel. Maybe you want to sit down, close your eyes and see if you want to have that cat nap. Remember about the person that brings you energy back, that battery, maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your girlfriend, call this person. If they will not answer, leave them a message. Grab one piece of paper, start writing the most annoying thing in your mind. Maybe you, your self-esteem is low right now. Maybe you have a cravings and you start by literally writing down, I want some chocolate. I do not feel pretty today. And write down whatever happens in your mind without thinking. That your goal is to write down on each side of a paper. And you will feel the revelation at the end because you just let everything go on that piece of paper then down you can throw it away you don't need to read it that was just an emotional dump for 15 minutes you can have a nice bubbly bath when was the last time you treated yourself with a really nice bubble bath maybe a candle and subtle music do that and once a week create this one hour ritual that you can do at least once a week three times a week the best so you can read a book you can go on extensive walk and listen to a podcast unplug the technology for the whole hour organize the wardrobe oh my gosh this is my favorite just put on the podcast and unload the wardrobe you can see it behind me and then reorganize it i always feel so much more relaxed try to cook a new meal paint a picture go to the movies alone make a point to spend time with your friends but let's agree, those friends should be the fulfilling one, the one that makes you feel like a superstar, okay? The secret of them is consistency. Consistency is what makes a result here. Spending time on yourself, concentrating on how you feel, will fulfill that emotional hunger. For day 14 of my no sugar, the honeymoon phase is over. Right now, it's the time for my cravings to thrive and I have shared with you how I do overcome because remember we always have a choice in between the thought that we have and the action that we do and that gap in between them can be fulfilled with the right motion that benefits us my dear queens and I will see you in a week a report how is it going 100 days of self deprivation no sugar no alcohol no lactose let's go